So this will be the last problem we do today in office hours. So um, it says, which of the following solutions can act as buffer solutions? And then it gives you these four. Okay, so um, what we're going to remember about a buffer solution, do you guys remember what a buffer solution is from last lecture? I know you all were studying for your exam during the lecture, but buffer solution is made up of a weak acid and its conjugate base. Yeah. Okay? So that gives you a clue as to what you need, right? You have to have a weak acid first, okay? and then the conjugate base of that weak acid. So already I can cross off two of these, okay? So if I look up here, right, HCl, that is not a weak acid, that's a strong acid, okay? So can this be a buffer? No, it cannot be a buffer, okay? This one here, same reasoning, Sulfuric acid, H2SO4, is a strong acid. So we can't, even though this is the conjugate base of that acid, this is the conjugate base of that acid, okay? Now, we look over here, right? So we've got H2PO4 minus and HPO4 two minus. That's a weak acid. That's the conjugate base of a weak acid, so Yes, that could be a buffer solution. Okay, what is this one? Strong acid or weak acid? Do you guys remember how to identify? Weak acid. Weak acid, right? Is that its conjugate base? Do you remember how to do it? Cover that up mm -hmm. and put a minus? Yeah. It's the conjugate yeah. base, okay? So, can that be a buffer? Yeah. Weak acid and its conjugate base? Job, guys. Any questions on this one? So you got to know your weak acids and strong acids. If you don't know that, then and you got to know what your conjugate acid and conjugate bases are. If you don't know that, you can't do this problem.